It's very common when breathing is not up to par that we frequently sigh or frequently yawn. What is a sigh? A sigh is when the tidal volume, in other words, the volume of air that we are breathing in, in one breath, is three times that of normal. Now, some people will say that it's very common and very normal for human beings to be frequently sighing. I'm not so sure about that. Um, you know, if we have a group of individuals and say, for example, 30 people, I'm not going to be picking up and sighing all the time. In other words, we have 30 people. If it was so normal to have frequent sighing with a group of 30 people, it would be almost nonstop sighing. When I have a client coming in and they come in with a tendency towards panic disorder or anxiety, I often see frequent sighing and it's an alarm bell for me because I have to think that they are sighing frequently because they're feeling uncomfortable with their breathing or they could be uncomfortable in the situation because very often it could be a stress response but there might be just a little, little bit more to it than that. They are sighing because of the feeling of air hunger and they're having that frequent sigh which helps to get rid of the feeling of air hunger but the only problem with the frequent sighing is that it can keep them stuck in that suboptimal breathing. Now, what do we do? Well, when we practice breathe light exercises and breathe slow and breathe low, as the control pause increases, frequent sighing should reduce. Now, frequent sighing can point to irregular breathing patterns. And one way that may help to bring in regular breathing patterns is actually to count breathing. So, for example, slow breathing. So breathing in for three seconds and out for three, or breathing in for four and out for four, or in for five and out for five seconds. That, in other words, we're establishing a regular breathing pattern. So in terms of the frequency of sighing, what is considered normal and what's considered abnormal, we don't have the answer to that. Is it normal to have a sigh every five minutes? I've heard some people say it is normal. It's not what we see in practice. So what I would say to, to people is, if we have a habit of sighing frequently, pay attention to it. And after doing the sigh, have a couple of normal breaths and then breathe in and breathe out and pinch your nose and hold your nose and hold for maybe three to five seconds. Because one big sigh, one big breath, that can lower carbon dioxide from the blood through the lungs. And in turn, it can keep the breathing from a biochemical dimension under par. So it's not that we want to stop the sigh by trying to force it into, into submission, but it's that we just recognize that one big breath, the common breath, that we want to do a breath hold afterwards to compensate. But as the control pause increases, and as we practice normal breathing, light breathing, slow breathing, nose breathing, low breathing, the frequency of the sigh will reduce. It's more common with people with breathing pattern disorders. Now, of course, it can be also related to poor sleep quality which in turn can be contributed to by breathing pattern issues. The best thing to do is to pay attention to our own breathing, observe how often do we do it, and then work to improve our breathing patterns. And in light of that, the frequency of sighing and the frequency of yawning should reduce.